Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends at Yarnspirations.com. This is the Florette Stitch. And the Florette Stitch, it's a combination of two rows. One row is just straight double crochet, and the next one has the texture, so when you're looking at it from this perspective, um, you can really see it. The other side remains flat. So this is a one-sided pattern. Um, really nice uh, texture work that is easy to maintain. And in order to do this pattern, it's in multiples of two. So just chain in multiples of two, and this is good to go. Let's begin. So let's begin and we are going to chain a multiples of two, so an even number essentially, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. When you're happy with the width, just stop and you're ready for row number one. Row number one, we're gonna start with the texture immediately and we're gonna go second chain from the hook and I want you just to slip stitch into the second chain. It's almost similar to the crunch stitch, but slightly different. The next stitch here is going to be a double crochet. So the slip stitch combination with the double crochet is gonna force that to bend over, and it bends over towards the back of the project that you're seeing here. So in actual fact, you're looking at the wrong side right at this time. So we're gonna slip in the next chain, and then double crochet in the next. And you're gonna notice this texture is gonna immediately appear on the other side of the work. So it's going to be a slip and double crochet. And you're gonna alternate between the two all the way down your chain. So please do that. And the stitch counts I gave you will always end and begin in the same way so that it's easy to remember. So the last one here is going to be a slip stitch into the last chain. So we started off with a slip stitch, we end with a slip stitch just in keeping the counts. So you're gonna turn your work and we're gonna begin row number two. You can see the texture, it's already happened. And now in the next row is just a straight double crochet across. So let's begin by chaining three. That is your first double crochet. And then you immediately jump to your first one right here. And you're going to double crochet in every stitch, which includes the slip stitching all the way across. And this helps stabilize the project and gives you a flat section so that these florets jump off of the project. Okay, and you're gonna just double crochet in each. You'll get used to the way it looks. Sometimes because of the bending of it, it can make the stitch look backwards. So just kind of flip it towards you if you don't see it. Um, I've been experienced enough that I can trust that it's there. So I don't really have to look too hard for that, but you may have to depending on your skill level. And if you're not there yet, you will get there eventually. So you're just gonna double crochet yourself all the way across. And the slip stitch is going to be the very last stitch when you get there, right here. Okay, so that you can see that it made it nice and flat. And so you got a jumping off section and a flat. So when you turn your work around to do the next row, you're back to the florette stitch. And we start again by just chaining one and single crochet, sorry, slip stitch into the first one and then alternate between the double and the sing or the slip stitch. Sorry, I'm stumbling a bit. So then the first one was a double, this is a slip, and then it's a double and slip and double. Slip and double. Slip and double. And in the turning chain, it should be a slip stitch. Okay, so just go right into the chain. Don't go into a space like this because it'll stay, stay open. So make sure you go right into the chain work and therefore that's gonna stay like that. You'll always see in double crochet that there's always a little gap at the end. That's just normal. And uh, that's just a, a part of the experience. So turning your work, you chain three and then you start double crocheting across the top again. And then you turn your work back and then you do the florets again and you keep doing that. So make sure that you end on the ending of a floret row, and therefore you'll have florets not only on this edge, but on the opposite edge. And it's just consisting of two rows to be able to do this. This is the floret stitch, and it's a really great idea for adding that little bit of texture and maybe keeping yourself interested in the project a lot longer. And with the double crochets that are between the florets, um, the project um, won't take as long to grow out as other stitches in textures just like this. And that's it. So just turn your work, add more florets, and therefore that would be the ending of that. 
We hope you enjoy. This is the Fluoride Stitch.